Hello and welcome to Model Kit Stuff and another Focus on Tools video and in this video we're going to be having a look at the um, Alexin Models um, P Parts Bending Tool which is this little gizmo here. So um, as the name implies this tool is for bending photo etch and what you get in the pack is one of these and one of these. So the idea is um, you use the various different fittings for bending your photo etch and you use this to get underneath the etch to help you bend it. Now I have to be honest, this I don't rate and I subsequently don't use. I've replaced that with um, a safety razor which allows me to get back in. So the basic idea is um, you can hold your photo etch down and bend your photo etch very simply. Let me show you. So I want to make a, a photo etch box. The different um, width teeth means that I can find a tooth that's the right um, width for the part I'm bending. And I can bend up as simple as that. So. I can then go around and this bit's a little bit wider, so I can use a wider tooth for that. Up we go. Back to a narrow one for that. And then slightly wider one for that last one. And we have made um, a four-sided box with a roof. Simple as that. Um, it's the simplicity of this tool that makes it such a good tool. And for me, um, this is much cheaper than a hold and fold. It is much cheaper than branded um, bending pliers. Um, it's probably a little bit more expensive. In the UK, um, somewhere between eight and ten, 10 pounds. So a bit more expensive than a cheap steel rule, but actually cheaper than a good quality steel rule, um, which you can also use for bending. So for me, this is the best photo etch bender that you can buy. If you're just gonna buy one tool for folding photo etch, we're not talking rolling here, then this one will do everything you need. So why do I say that? Well, it has a number of advantages over other tools. Firstly, um, because it's so simple, it's really quick to use. Um, it's better than using a steel rule. So you can use a steel rule for folding in, in exactly the same way as I've just shown you with a razor blade. Um, the shortcomings of using a steel rule, and this is how many of us started out when Photo Etch first came out, is you've only got two different widths. You've got the long length and you've got the width of the, the actual rule. Um, so for some small parts, you can't get in, whereas this, with these different sized teeth, allows you to do that. And we've got some fairly big ones there as well. We've got angles, we've got triangular points, curved points. Now I have to be honest, I, tend, I haven't really used these much. I might have used them once or twice. I've had this a good while. I haven't used them much. I've used this long one quite a few times, so it, um, particularly when you're folding a part that might have ship's railings attached to it. And then this longer one here is quite good for things like um, tank skirts and you know longer things that have a long fold in it. Um, so it's better than using a steel rule. Um, it's no quicker than using uh, pliers, but your pliers are limited to the length of your jaw and also they're limited to one fold. Whereas you can place this down on some things and fold two, two or three sides up in once. So again, that's the advantage. The advantage over the hold and fold, um, well, it has two. Firstly, it's massively quicker. And I'm going to demonstrate that to you in a minute because you've not got to mess around tightening it, aligning it, and uh, taking these off and turning the tool around so you've got the teeth. But also, it's 
quite thin. And because it's quite thin, I mean, it is no thicker than my um, good quality Fisher steel rule. Um, because it's quite thin, um, I can fold and then fold again. And if it's a thin channel, this tool will fit in it. If it's a thin channel, there's no way this really expensive hold and fold is getting in because the chamfer on it is just way too steep. Uh, this is a better one. This is a better one, but even that will give me some problems. So uh, in terms of flexibility, this will do everything you need other than rolling. And we'll talk about rolling in, other, in another tools video. Now, on the flip side of this, um, it has some cutouts, um, some little wells that you can use for, for glue. Um, I think I've used it once, but um, it's not really a feature that I'm keen, keen to use. Um, it does have markings on there for centimetres, um, but I don't really use that either. Um, I generally use it for what it's meant for, folding photo etch. Now, let's just show you how this works in the case of time against a hold and fold. Okay, so I am going to fold this gun shield. So one 700 scale gun shield. I'm going to fold this in the hold and fold and we're going to time how long that takes. Now before we do that, I need to turn it around to make it a fair comparison so that the teeth are in the right place for folding. Um, this is something that you um, will never have to do with that. Right. Let's start the timer and see how we get on. I'm using the sides of the folder here just to save some time. And I don't actually have a tooth that's the right thickness. Um, so we're just going to have to do our best with it. Try to get it lined up. Okay, so one minute, 31 seconds. Right then, let's get this second one bent and see how long it takes us. Just like the hold and fold, I don't have a tooth that's exactly the same size. So let's start the timer. Okay, One minute, 37, 28 seconds. I'll just show you them both together. So there you have it. That was the one done on the hold and fold. That was the one um, done 
on our tool. So I bought this on eBay, I think. Um, so you can probably get it on Amazon as well. Um, is this an essential tool? If you're going to be folding photo etch, then I'm going to have to say yes, because all other methods of, of folding photo etch are probably limited in some way or another, whereas this will do pretty much all the bending you are ever going to need, and you will it will save you money on things that you don't need to buy, and it will also save you some time. Hope that was helpful. Thanks for looking in everyone and hopefully we will see you soon.